Hello, everyone. So we have a, um, one of the text uh, which is segregated into four different sentences, which is known as a, a jumbled sentences or parajumbled question. So which is a, um, you can say, typo based question without having any negative mark, ne negative mark into it. So let's see that the directions for questions. So here is the direction for question where it is pointed the four sentences which is labeled one, two, three, and four. One, uh, then after two, three, and four. So one, two, three, and four below when properly sequenced would produce a coherent paragraph. Coherent means that called as a uh, logical and also you can say meaningful paragraph. Decide on the proper sequencing of the order of the sentences and uh, key in the sequence of the four numbers as your answer, isn't it? Let's see that um, it's a kind of a without choice based question. So uh, seems like uh, a little uh, tricky and uh, uh, kind of a interesting too also. Um, now, let's see that. What do we find out here? The first option which is stated or the first sentence says, now just the right man has been found in the author of the present work. Who an Englishman by birth is almost Japanese in his understanding of and sympathy with the Japanese people. Isn't it? Which is pointed here. Uh, now, so sentence one uh, <clears throat> is given idea about nothing but um, about an Englishman by birth and is almost Japanese in his understanding of and sympathy with the Japanese people. Okay, uh, coming to the second option, uh, second sentence. So the second sentence points out the Western public and Japan are alike to be congratulated on the production of the present war. And third said, it would indeed be difficult to find anyone better fitted for the task by no means an easy one of presenting the general features of Japanese history to Western readers in a compact and intelligible, intelligible form and at the same time in general harmony with the Japanese feeling. Option 4 stated, a history of Japan of moderate size has indeed long been a desideratum that it was not forthcoming was no doubt due to the want of a proper person to undertake such a walk, right? So, yes, we do have some kind of a difficult terms like desideratum and uh, you also find out some other uh, critical best um, sentences are pointed. Well, let's see that how we supposed to solve this particular one. Now, if I look into these four sentences, the first sentence stated about the Englishman by birth, uh, stated about just the right man has been found in the author of the present work, who an Englishman by birth. So, author is talking about nothing but an Englishman. Second option, the Western public and Japan are uh, same to be alike to be congratula uh, congratulated on the production of the present work. Then third, it would indeed, okay. Uh, be difficult to find anyone better fitted for the task by no means an easy one of presenting the general feature of Japanese history. But if you look into the option four, which is seeming like introductory sentence, because it is stated, a history of Japan of moderate size has indeed long been a desideratum. Isn't it? So, um, that it was not forthcoming was no doubt due to the want of a proper person to undertake such a work. So in that case, statement four introduces the theme of the sequence, which is a history of Japan, a history of Japan. So in addition, in statement four, the author means uh, welling or wells the want of a proper person due to which this particular work took such a long time, isn't it? So, uh, in that case, if you look into the um, four and with the one, right? So, what does one say? Now, just the right man has been found, right? Uh, and uh, stated that a proper person to undertake such a work and uh, now just 
the right man has been found for in the author of the present work. Right. So sentence one adds to it by putting across that now the right man. Now, can you see that? It is stated about what? Uh, it is stated about now just the right man. So which is indicating about the present situation. The man who, whom did the author talk about in option four. So in that case, we can consider four and one can be a pair. Right. Now, um, after that, if you see the right man for the job has been found. And if I look into the option three, option three extended by adding that it would be difficult to find any other person. Right. It would be indeed be difficult to find any one better fitted for the task by no means an easy one of presenting. Now, in that case, option four stated about our history of Japan. Option one said that means. Uh, uh, the want of a proper person to undertake such a work is just the right man he has found now. And three is called as a, it would indeed, indeed be difficult to find anyone better fitted than the person whom the author found. Isn't it? So uh, any other person better suited to undertake this task. Now, after that, four, one, three, if we look at, uh, look at two, statement two, it follows three as it mentioned the Western and Japanese public, right? What does it mention? It mentioned about the Western public and Japan are alike to be congratulated. So in that case, statement two follows three and because of the means idea called as the Western and uh, Japanese public that has been referred to in statement three, right? So hence, you can find out the sequence should be what four one three two isn't it so this arrangement creates a coherent paragraph starting with the need for a history of japan followed by the introduction of the right person for the task and then after accepting the western and japanese public and concluding with a congratulatory remark on the production of the present form so hence we can find out four one three two would be the appropriate sequence to it so that is what the answer, right? I hope you understood the um, question types as well as the sequence, uh, which will link with the one paragraph to the other paragraph. That's all. Thank you.